So what happened? You went online to find what? I said I went on YouTube <laughs> to look at toy videos, and it popped up. I watched it, and it was comical and informative. What was what was? Sean Francis walked. Sean Francis is a shit. It's pretty fun. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of my cousin for finding my best friend <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> and why did you care about this? Because you do decaf, correct? I do decaf, and I suck at pole vaulting. And Sean is good at pole vaulting. And he is very good at pole vaulting. Team Hoot, so, say it. Team Hoot. Team Hoot. Team Hoot. This is going to make the vlog, I know it will. <laughs> <laughs> Hajime! Hey Sean, where has he been? It's been like five weeks before he made a vlog and you always make a vlog every week. What's up with that? Get back. That's your job. You're supposed to do it all the time. Well, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I was in the wrong mental frame. For first, my ankle was a little sprained and that puts a damper because your plans kind of go right out the window and you have to adjust. And it took me a couple days to adjust and while I was making the last vlog, all the fun footage got deleted. I'm done with vlogs. It's taking forever and I just... No, I don't have to do it because no one's forcing me. It's not mandatory. I don't get graded on it. I'm not, it's not my job. So I just didn't do it last week, so I'm sorry. Within that week, I found a newfound fun and figured out how I can try and make up for losing the fun footage. So here we go. Vault and Bill vlog. Vault and Bill vlog. V and the V, V. So, I got to, to Kentucky, and my buddy, or my friend... I guess she's my buddy too. Uh, Andrea. Andrea. I call her Dre. Dre picked me up. Uh, she had her little brother, Xavier, which is the coolest kid ever. Get off my lawn! Get off my lawn! <laughs> it's on your nose. Get off my lawn! <laughs> I started teaching them all a bunch of shenanigans. <laughs> so we're driving in the car. I taught them how to do a drive-by compliment. Here's how you do it, in case you want to try it at home. If you do this, it will for sure make the intro. While you're driving past people, you look out of the car. Hey, that's a nice hat you're wearing. Hey, your car looks great. Hey, I like your shirt. You just compliment people, and you drive by and do it. You do it to people who are extra crabby. Oh, my day sucks. Hey, you have a nice hat. That I do. Thank you for complimenting my hat. Here, yeah. oh. And that's kind of how it goes. And it was other fun. Had some, we did some other shenanigans too. Made him high five street post because he's nine years old and like 13 feet tall. So it was a good time. Aw, nose tricks. Got any other ones? <laughs> <laughs> X, you're the man. We're pals. Vlog five. We had about two hours to do a shakeout before we had to be anywhere. So we decided to go do it like at a Kentucky there's like a river in Kentucky. I don't even know what river it is, but there's a cool bridge down there. We got down there. The first thing I saw were segways. Segway demo. All right, we're trying this. They were letting you try segways. So it was five dollars for 15 minutes. I've never ridden a segway. That's the person. I'll get you on the segway, um, teach you, and then you can ride around in the grass for 15 minutes. Okay. You ever done this before? No. Me neither. I got my safety. Yeah, we I made you wear the glasses. Yeah. For protection. My helmet's too big. Look at this. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. Segway, segway. I am on a segway. Segway, segway, segway. Hey. Whoop, oh, wrong way. First wipe out of the day. Y'all dead. Hi! I'm on a Segway. Oh! I might need to purchase one. Why'd they think these were gonna replace walking? By himself. I couldn't do this by myself. I'd be bored. Oh!
Who's on a Segway? Who's on a Segway? I'm on a Segway. I'm on a Segway. And again, I go and around I go. These are fun. Right. Weaving the trees. Weaving the trees. Stop. After Segways, we actually did a real pre-meet, and I was dared to wear official Jamaica gear. Really? You're gonna dare me to wear Jamaica gear because you don't think I'm gonna do it? Dared me to wear official Jamaica gear? I did. <laughs> Rocking it. Go Jamaica! Supporting Jamaica today. It's my first time ever wearing a sports bra. So after the shakeout, I got checked into my hotel room, and then we went to a pre-party day before kind of get together, barbecue, uh, some more making, little get together. It was awesome because I got to hang out with all my old pole vault friends and made a bunch of new ones. A whole ton of new ones and it was fun. Yeah, and me and Jordan Scott did some top secret team hoot talking. Some cool stuff's gonna happen. Jake, w Jake Winder. Or Jake Winder as I like to call him. It never, is always bummed out he doesn't make the vlog. So, uh, Jack Witt found this pretty funny part of the magazine that there was a naked statue on one side and Jake Winder's picture on the other side. Chip knows how to run a meet, and it was incredibly fun. So, Chip, thank you for doing that. I had a blast. I hope I get to come back next year. Sports. Sports. And pole vaulting. And pole vaulting. Woo! It took about four seconds for everyone to come over and grab sports once they came out. The next day, we got, had like an elite lunch where we all got to eat and get together, and it was in this really cool museum. And um, in one of the museums, I went to go to the bathroom, and, all right, I know it's kind of weird, I brought a camera in the bathroom, but there was like eyeballs staring at me while I was washing my hands. And here's the funkiest part. While you are peeing, say I'm peeing right now, there's a mirror in front of you that you can see through. It's a two-way mirror, but on the other side, they can't see you peeing, but you can watch people walk by while you're peeing. So while Mark and Coover were peeing, I decided to walk in front of them and film them peeing. But you can't see them because it's two-way glass, but... <laughs> That's kind of neat. I thought it was pretty cool. I walk into this area, there's Coover and Mark Hollis just throwing shit around. And Coover's just walking around like he's the kid from a Peanuts Christmas Carol, just kicking all no these way. movie tickets on the ground, walking in circles. And Mark's like throwing everything everywhere like he's the most happiest person in the world. Oh, this gotta be like a... <laughs> Just chucking stuff all over the place. And yeah, that place is cool. They went to go see a movie and I decided to stick around and film a bunch of the art, because I'm kind of a big dork and a big nerd, but it was pretty cool. So while a lot of the other guys kind of went to go chill out in their hotel, I kind of walked down because I wanted to see some of the high school kids, because these are the kids who are going to be the future of the sport, the kids who are vaulting all summer, you know? It was a cool idea having a CrossFit meet, or comp I don't even know what you call it, CrossFit competition going on at the same time, because there was a ton of people down there. I won't even get started on CrossFit, because I get asked this question a lot. My, uh, CrossFit. Okay, here's the best way I can put it. CrossFit is good, is only good because it's making people want to work out more. So it's getting them off of their couch and moving. But you shouldn't be allowed to own a gym and teach people how to Olympic lift when you just had a weekend of learning how to Olympic lift. Also, I don't think it's very cool to try and do Olympic lifts until failure. Let's see if we can do 500 Olympic lifts in three minutes. <laughs> I just don't understand the purpose of that. That's my two cents. CrossFit can be good if you're never active and that's the only way you're gonna get active, but otherwise... I'm not a big CrossFit fan. So, while I was down there, you know, I ran into some kids who have sent me videos for my vlog, like Jonah. <laughs> Jonah's a pretty cool kid. I better jump pretty high? Yeah. Cause you told me to, right? Yeah, you better jump high. I'll do my best. 
I met another kid, Tristan. While I was warming up, I brought some Team Hoot shirts, but I left them in my hotel like an idiot. I call us knows what's up. He brought all his shirts, but I didn't bring any of my shirts. But Tristan came up and was like, Can I get a shirt? I would totally love Oh, crap. They're in my hotel room. And I was like, all I have is the one I'm wearing. He's like, I'll take it. Dude, super gross and sweaty. Are you sure? Like, you can have it, but it's disgusting. It's even better that way. <laughs> Like, all right. Uh, when the meat got over, I gave it to him, and he was pretty jacked about it. But uh, I told him he better wash it three times before he starts wearing it. <laughs> so that happened. So thank you guys for saying hi and hanging out. Probably one of my favorite things about these meets is that I get to hang out with these other vaulters who are doing the exact same thing I am. Because no one understands the struggle and sacrifice that you take. To do your sport for no money and you're living with your parents or you like found some other way of scraping by because that's really the only way you can do it unless you jump like 19.5 or something like that. I love hanging out with these people and I'm, like I said, I've met a lot of new friends. And the Vault in the Ville has the sickest setup ever. It's right down this outdoor mall and there's bars down there too. So it was just fun. We were all just dinking around and it was super lighthearted. So me and Jake were sitting next to each other. Uh, I think it was by Hollis and Sean Young and some of these other guys too. Sean Young, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Hey Mark Hollis, how's it going? Pull ball. Jake, you excited to go? Yeah, I'm really excited. You have any jokes? What about, uh, um, kind of boring. Yeah. Where are you going, Jack? Oh, it's weird, isn't it? Try filming right. yourself and looking at yourself for like five hours. And there's these ladies behind us who were watching the women's pole vault, and they've never seen pole vault in their entire life. Is that, is that the first time you ever saw pole vault? Yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna try yeah. it next? You're up next. You're up next. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> they didn't believe that we were gonna start at like 17 feet. No way! There's no way you can start that high! It's physically impossible! <laughs> they were freaking out, and that's what Bull Vault's supposed to be about. And people will think it's cool if they just see it. You just have to bring it to the public, and that's exactly what meets like this are doing. We just need more of them, because this was pretty cool. On a big side note, be like those people who were freaking out when we were going over the bar. Don't be like this guy who was taking pictures of all the girls' butts while they were jumping. I caught you, and I filmed it. But all these women pole vaulters will see it, and they'll know that you're the creep you are. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope he doesn't do it to me, that's the only thing. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do it. He, uh, pull those shorties up a lot. Gonna be gentle, but... Don't be that guy. Ever. So it was pretty cool, and like I said, there were bars down there, so as the bar got higher and higher... People were getting drunker and drunker and coming outside, so it got louder and louder. How did my meet go? I came in at 520, 16 foot 15.5, and jumped 520 on my first attempt. Uh, and then I jumped 535 on my first attempt, I was also on the same pole, 15.5, 490. And then I decided to go up a pole to try these five meters out. That's why I packed them. My whole goal this whole season was to get on to five meters. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, God, we're getting towards the end of the season. I never touched these things. I don't even know how they work. I jumped on the 15.7 at first attempt at 515. It was a pretty good attempt. Like, wow, that pole wasn't as scary as I thought it was. Just tried it again. And then I totally destroyed that pole. It was like a 15.7 five meter uh, UCS pole. And it was just done. I don't have the next pole in my bag. And so Jordan Scott was awesome enough to let me borrow his 15.45 meter pole and that would have worked I just lost those cues I was doing so well all day my hips came through instead of staying back and dang overall it was a pretty good day I ended up getting third and making a little bit of money it was fun and those five meter poles aren't so scary anymore so as soon as I got home I ordered a 15.3 and a 14.7 to fill the gaps in my pole line so I think I'm set now uh, to get those five meter poles rolling. I'm pretty jacked about it.
So then there was the after party, and the most fun footage that I had got deleted, because I suck. And so, the footage was of all the vaulters riding a mechanical bull. I stole some pictures from Sean Young and Sam Bell <laughs> to try and explain what happened. Jake Winder doesn't make the vlog enough. So Jake, you had the best footage. This is exactly what happened to Jake while he was riding the bull. And I did not ride the bull for the sheer fact I knew. I've known some people, I'm from Minnesota, so there's a lot of horse riding and stuff going around here. And I know what happens to your junk if you ride bulls or mechanical bulls for that matter. Exactly why me and Jack Witt decided not to ride a bull. And Amanda Hollis is bummed out I don't have her punch in the bag because she punched like 700 pounds or something like that and showed all the guys up. Mark is always so nice and friendly and polite because Amanda has one heck of a punch. I don't know what it is, maybe small fists or like aerodynamics. <laughs> that was impressive. So good for you. Okay, here comes the crazy stuff. All right. On Zazzle.com slash Sean Danger Hoot, I'm putting up a bunch of Team Hoot stuff. I'm still adding more, but with the summer meets fast approaching, I figured you guys might want your stuff sooner. Zazzle is a little bit more expensive than I was doing. But the good part is you guys get to pick whatever you want. You get to pick the type of shirt. Um, you get to pick the fabric if you want dry fit or normal stuff. You, there will be water bottles and headbands and there's sweatpants and there's hats and all sorts of stuff. A little bit more expensive, but you have options. So go out there and check it out. And if there's anything that's not on there that you want, let me know and I can make it. And tell me what logos you guys like the best. There's a whole ton of new ones, so go check it out. I'll put it in the description below. And another whole idea was this was to, to grow a Team Hoot team. Because right now, I'm kind of the only member. But why not have you guys be on my team? There's lots of unattached athletes and people like you who go to street meets and don't have a team to be on. Like, why don't we just make a team? So if you have a Team Hoot jersey or you want to be part of Team Hoot, just go buy the shirt or jersey and boom, you're on my team. Then you're on a team you don't have to wear just like blank Nike stuff. <laughs> hey Sean, how does your summer look? Is there a lot of meets you're doing this summer? USATF Championships. If my ankle is better, you better send good vibes. Then the week after that, I have uh, the River Vault in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And after that, I will be going to the Winston Street meet in North Carolina. And then the next week I'll be in Mexico. Don't know how that happened. Giovanni Renaro just called me up. was like, you wanna go to Mexico? I was like, yep, I do. <laughs> so. um, and then after that, there's the New Jersey Beach Vault. So if you are in New Jersey, come hang out and jump with me. And then the last one I'm ending my summer on, so far, unless something else comes up, is that we are doing a street meet down in Minnesota. And it's a two-day meet and on the first day we're gonna be doing long approach down the street and on the second day they're putting a pole vault pit on top of a bar the roof of a bar and we'll be vaulting on a roof I've been dreaming about jumping on a roof or pole vaulting on a roof for years so like always please subscribe share like these uh, do all that social media stuff where you follow me and all my social media is Sean Danger Hoot I will try to do better about making these vlogs because I know I have been slacking team hoot out 30 will be everything that I did while I wasn't doing pole vault stuff. This is the best way to do it. Just saying. She needs to win one. I missed your high five. <laughs>